construction began on a new streetcar line on North Rampart in St. Claude, and it's expected to be completed by the end of the year. So joining us live this morning to tell us more about the progress made within the last year is the Director of Marketing and Communications for RTA, Patricia Bell Markendell. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. There's a lot going on. Um, so first, give me an update on the streetcar, and then you have some road closures that folks need to know about. Yes, definitely. Well, we're very happy to say that we are completely on schedule. We still project that we will be opening the streetcar line for people to actually be on the streetcars and riding by September of 2016. So late third quarter, we'll have that streetcar line complete as was projected in the beginning of the project. Um, we are more than 60% complete with the track installation, so the actual rails that the streetcars sit on, and we're more than 70% percent complete with the major infrastructure work that has to happen all of that movement improvement and and um, rebuilding of the of the utilities underground so the neighborhood's actually not only getting a streetcar line but they're getting all new underground utilities as well that's a lot of work and then also some street closures due to some water mains and water pipes being yes. installed tell me about those yes definitely we have a major um, upcoming project and that's the installation of a vault that will hold a 24 inch underground underground water line okay at St. Peter and Burgundy. So for about a period of eight weeks, that intersection of um, St. Peter and Burgundy will be closed. So people need to be aware of that. Um, a secondary piece related to that is that along St. Peter, mm -hmm. um, there will be restricted parking. Okay. And that will be in effect when construction is active. So if the construction site is shut down or we're not actively working, that parking will be available. But during those times when we have work going on, that parking will be removed from access for folks in that area. And then that third piece is that we'll be beginning some limited work at Esplanade Avenue for some underground utility work for a water, uh, a water line installation as well. But um, that really will kick into high gear after Mardi Gras. We're, we're not doing too much there right now. We'll see some limited traffic impacts, but after Mardi Gras, that intersection will be closed as well. And of course, we were talking about the app last time mm -hmm. you were here. Are mm -hmm. people utilizing that service? I love it. Well, I absolutely love it. Well, you know, we had such a great weekend over um, New Year's Eve and Sugar Bowl. I think a lot of locals and a lot of tourists really discovered Go Mobile mm -hmm. and recognized that having their tickets on their phones and in their electronic wallet was so easy to get to and from all of the festivities downtown, to get to and from all of the festivities for the, the Allstate Sugar Bowl. So it's going really well. We're seeing incremental growth each month, but we really encourage our locals to try it. We see that people visiting the city are really using it. We need our locals to get on this app. They can store that one day, three day, 31 day pass for the bus and street cars or their ferry passes on their phone activate it, show it to their operator, and off they go to all of their adventures for the day. It's so easy. Let's talk about buzzword. Tell me about that. Well, the buzzword this month along North Rampart for our business buzz, which has about 20 businesses along that streetcar construction line participating, is pedestrian. Okay. And it's very <laughs> important that our pedestrians, our motorists, our neighbors support our local businesses. Mm -hmm. One of the things RTA was committed to as they entered this phase of streetcar and rail expansion was making certain that our small business in that neighborhood did not suffer too much from the traffic impact. So we've started a, a partnership with them and if you go in and say that buzzword, pedestrians, pedestrians, <laughs> you get a little discount at different stores and we encourage you to support these businesses. They are locally owned and grown. Mm -hmm. They are our neighbors and friends and we want you to go there and support them because we want you to have a destination to go to at the end of this project. So we need to keep them um, profitable and in business. Absolutely. So pedestrians, is the buzzword. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stay up to date with all of RTA, you can log on to Norda.com or you can give the call a hotline there, 504-577-2668. Thanks so much for the update. Thank you.